everybody, it's Danielle Babineau here. I'm here to do a quick tutorial on the 3D Fiber Lashes, the new Moodstruck Lashes. Um, just a quick tutorial on how I personally put them on. I've played around with them now for about a week and I think I found my best method. So I'll just apply them to the one eye just so you can see the difference and my apologies if I seem a bit clumsy, uh, it's applying them in a webcam is not the same as applying them in a mirror. Anyway, so we have the um, the transplanting gel, but you can see that there's a window so you can see how much there is. Mine is full because it's brand new. And you also have the 3D fibers. In the new ones, they're made out of nylon. Um, in the older packages, they're made out of green tea fibers, exactly the same. Um, they work just as well. So anyway, first I start by opening up both tubes, get them open, alright, and then I'm just going to take the gel and because it's quite full, I'm just going to kind of brush off the end a little bit so I don't get the clump there just because it's, it's so incredibly full. So then I'm going to start by putting the gel on my lashes. Now again, I'm going backwards here. So really wiggling that gel up onto my lashes. And just a little bit on the bottom as well. I need a little smudge of that. This bonus is with this, it comes off so super easily with a Q-tip that cleanup is a cinch. Alright, now the gel's on, so now I'm going to take the fibers, and I'm going to go midline to tip. So I don't go right against my eye, but about mid to my lashes to the tips. I coat really, really well, and I do a little bit extra on the ends just to give that really pretty flared out look. And then I'm just going to go backwards on top of my lashes and just quickly do the tips go back again. So make sure those are well coated with the fibers. Now normally at this point I would move over to uh, my other eye and repeat the process. Now in the instructions you get it does say fibers or um, gel, fibers, gel and then gel, fibers, gel. Um, but I find doing the gel and then the fibers and then over gel and then the fibers and then back and seal them. Um, it gives the fibers a little chance to set. So that's just how I do it. Um, so now um, I've given it a, a quick minute. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to put the gel quickly. Oh, I got one of my hairs in here. There we go. So I'm just going to go back and really, really, really coat these well. Now if you just do a light layer of the gel over top, through the day, fibers are going to land in here and on your cheeks. The first couple times I did it, I was not sealing them correctly and I was getting frustrated because I was constantly wiping away fibers off my cheeks. So you really, really, really want to seal them super, super good. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to do another layer of fibers here, so we're getting nice and close, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So again, midline, just going really, really, really giving it a good coat of that fiber, making sure that there's lots on there. And I'm just going to give it a second to set, and then I'll go, I'll uh, seal them up. So normally on the bottoms, I just do a little layer of gel. If I'm going out or for an evening look, I'll put fibers on my bottom lashes. But I really like my eyes to look really open and my top lashes to really pop. So I don't normally do my bottoms unless, like, for an evening look, I find it looks a little heavy. And I'm a little dark around the bottom of my eyes as it is. So um, I just like to focus all the attention up. But you can definitely put fibers on your bottom um, lashes. Same deal, um, gel, fibers, and then coat really, really well. 
Alright, so I've given that a second, so now I'm going to seal those again. Really making sure there's a good coat. Now if you're worried about the, it looking too thick or clumpy or spidery, this brush is awesome. It doesn't, you know, overcoat your lashes. And you can always um, use your old mascara one that you don't need anymore. Uh, wash it off and you can use that to kind of comb it out if you feel like it's too heavy of a look for you. So anyway, those are really, really nicely coated now. Now, uh, the best trick I've seen so far um, when you're done with sealing them is to take your hair dryer, put it on a low cool setting, and this is going to set the gel and the fibers. Um, going to brush any fibers that are falling on your cheeks off and also it's going to curl your lashes up. It's such a good trick. So it's going to be a little loud for one quick second. I'll just show you. that that has curled those lashes really nice up and um, they look super pretty. So you can tell huge difference between um, naked eye and 3D fiber lash eye um, and it they set perfectly and I don't have to worry about them flaking up and now they're really nicely beautifully curled without having to get any uh, crazy tools by my eyes. Thanks everybody so much for watching. To order your set of the 3D Fiber Lashes, um, check me out at www.dbbeautygal.com or on Instagram at dbbeautygal. See you all soon. Happy Tip Tuesday.